Zen, I want to talk about some mistakes I made in preseason and some things that I did very well. Um, let's 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 focusing let's focusing on my worst the worst preseason I ever had, and which I was subsequently cut from the team, and two days later had my face broken in a in a five v one fight, and it took a hundred thousand dollars to to put my face back together. But um, that's neither that's that's not important. What's important is that the thing I regret the most is is my mindset my mindset was I thought I was like this great player and that I could just waltz waltz onto this D1 soccer team and just dominate and it was not the case at all I was unprepared both technically and athletically um, and it, and it showed my blood they, my, my blood pressures my blood pressure was too high at the start of the season I had a high resting heart rate um, I wasn't as fit as I could be I just didn't apply myself that summer I don't know what I was thinking to be honest so what's the lesson learned the lesson learned is even even days even days that you have training Let's say you're doing doubles. Let's say you're doing singles. Before and after. Well, let's just think about before. If you get all if you get all your lazy touches out, right? If you spend 1 minute a day using a kick trainer, juggling or dribbling, right? Develop that habit to train before training starts. Because if you can get if you could shake, you know, as a warm up, if you get your breathing right, right? Do that 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 Dr. Vranich breathing and you do and you do some of that arm T rope work you do some Kador Zayani warm-up stuff you do some Ido portal warm-up stuff I mean you know if you're trying to get selected to maybe play varsity as I'm not sure what age group you are it seems like you're not a senior but um, that Ido Ido portal locomotion warm-up is badass man that shit is badass because no one knows how to do it and you look like a ninja when you're doing it I swear to God that and the RMT rope if you can learn the alternating underhand sneak I swear I promise you you will not regret it it took me three days to learn and it was super frustrating but man it's I've never felt more explosive agile lethal on the soccer field I'm telling you, alternating underhand sneak tutorial. If you don't post a picture, or if you don't post a video of you doing this alternating underhand sneak in the next, I'll give you four days. I'll give you four days to master it. You, you wanna start with double behind the backs. Or how about this? Take the first step. Invest or make, make or invest in an RMT rope. If you don't have money for it, I'll make one for you for dirt cheap. I'll just mail it to you. Just, just send me your Addy or some type of in your or, or your local post office, and I'll send it to you um, for cheap. You know, you give me five bucks, I'll, I'll make you one worth worth twenty. Just because I love training and I love helping young players. Um, yeah, RMT rope, double behind the backs leads to mastering the alternating underhand sneak. Um, and if you want a tutorial, if you need a tutorial to see what that looks like, I'll send you one or I'll make one again. Um, and then just bringing a ball or a kick trainer with me everywhere I go. I didn't do those three things. I didn't know how to breathe. I didn't know the alternating underhand sneak. I didn't bring a ball everywhere I go. And I didn't develop a dribbling or juggling habit for one minute a day. Because once you develop the habit, once you develop the habit, then training becomes easy. And then your your success is like effortless because because once you've built the habit it's like you you'll just never you'll just never you'll never change it if, especially if it's a good habit that creates positive results right positive habits spiral you up to, to create more positive habits so start with those things start with those things right you got to start start at the little things add up right little things add up so and, and um, yeah, that'd be the best start. Check out that morning routine stuff that I just posted. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus on, I'm gonna put up some more 
some more stuff for post for a nighttime routine, but start with that morning routine, invest in, do one of those things that I suggest. Either learn that Dr. Vranich breathing, master master the alternating underhand sneak, or just buy an RMT rope or make an RMT rope, which is super easy to do and super cheap. And then bring a ball with you everywhere you go. Or kick trainer, right? Invest or make a kick trainer. So assemble your tools and then start following those morning routines. And let me know if there's any confusion with this video or, or any you have questions about anything about first steps or what you're struggling with or, or what you anticipate will be your biggest weakness going forward. So let me know. All right, thank you.